And our Meg Shaw on Akron's campus today, gathering details about the closing of that hall and what it means for upcoming scheduled shows. So, hey, Meg, what's the latest? Yeah, Mike, after 40 years of hosting Broadway shows and other arts events that bring in 400,000 people a year, the E.J. Thomas Hall building is closed for good. The university said that by closing this venue, this gives them more time to focus on academic programs. Dan Dahl has put in more than 20 years here at the E.J. Thomas Hall building. He's currently the executive director, but that's all about to change in six months. I was greatly surprised when it was the entire staff that was let, let go, including myself. Dahl, along with his 15 staff members, were cut yesterday as part of the goal to eliminate $60 million worth of deficit. To have the whole staff gone was, yes, very surprising. Most of the staff, I think half of the staff was going, yes. Did I think we we're going to be limited operations this coming year? Yes. Does change need to take place across this campus? Yes. I'm concerned that this is too much, too fast. Now, depending on their contracts, some people were given up to two weeks, others three months, and some, like Dahl, up to six months. But Dahl told me he's frustrated with the university and what they plan to do about the upcoming season of shows. But right now, what is the plan? And that's what I said. I don't know. The university said to eliminate some of the debt, it was time to refocus. The focus from the university is going to be on academic programming uh, at, uh, at E.J. Thomas and not being in the promotion business, if you will. So what's this mean for folks who've already bought tickets for upcoming shows set to take place here at E.J. Thomas? Well, no one at the university was willing to go on camera to talk about the closing of E.J. Thomas Hall, but told me in a statement, the university will honor and deliver all previously contracted performances, including the Dancing with the Stars show. And also as a part of that statement, the university said they're working with community partners about other programs and events that are scheduled here at the hall. And they're directing anyone who has a ticket for an upcoming show to call the president's office.